Greetings and salutations, friends! Welcome, welcome, welcome to another glorious day in the outer world. Yes, indeed. Thank you for joining me this morning, folks. We are, let's see, we are going to hop right back in. I did try to do a bunch of stupid builds last night, but we are going to hop right back in on our melee smasher. Low intelligence run. Yes, we are. But while we wait for the loading screen to pop up, if you would please now grab your cups, your, your grab your cup, your mug, your glass. Perhaps you have a stein, a ticket, or a chalice. Maybe a goblet or a flask, a vessel of any kind. Fill it with your favorite liquid. I like my morning coffee. And join me now for that dopamine hit of your day, the simultaneous sip. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. That is the good stuff. So. This is a very we we find ourselves in a very hush girl. Uh, so we've uh, we have gotten ourselves in a very interesting position as far as the story goes. We find the okay. Um. What is this? Faction quest. Follow up with Catherine. Okay. So, we find ourselves at a point where we can mostly ignore a lot of the a lot of the other factions on this planet. It's just like it reminds me, I was just thinking yesterday. It's like I could have skipped the entirety of Roseway and the only thing it would have uh, would have gotten me would have been that I would be low level, lower level right now. I'd be like level 10 or 11, maybe 12 at this point. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's gonna lag. Don't you worry, y'all. It's gonna lag in the, this this first little bit in the morning. It's gotta load the rest of the world. But what I think we're gonna do first, instead of going, because here's the thing, as I, just role playing the character that I made we really don't care about much of this so we're kind of we kind of you know help what we can we're kind of dumb so that's kind of how it rolls right but all the all this other nonsense all the exploration I did in my first playthrough this is not something this character would do so I think we're just gonna head straight for the main objective and do side stuff on the way a lot now the what the best part is because we're gonna be over leveled for a lot of this nonsense we're not gonna have to use tactical time dilation which is kinda fun I guess just kinda fun are you for real I need to sleep I didn't sleep I didn't sleep <sighs> didn't sleep hi Hello. How are you? Are you good? Oh, he's not dead. Have I not been killing him? Oh, this is bad. Okay, no, I got him. He's dead. He didn't die. There we go. There we go. Now he's the only one left. Oh, and he's melee. This is great. Got that block off though, didn't I? Missed my power attack. Got my block off. Right on time too. It's one of the it's one of the crazy things about this game. You figure as a melee class, you'd be wanting to do a lot of blocking, but blocking is damn near useless unless you're actually fighting another melee character. So we need to go back to sleep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, we should probably go back to sleep. Hmm. But Devil's Peak. So. Oh hush. So what I'm thinking oh, is is that a lot of the side quests can be inferred via doing the main quest. So if I go to Devil's Peak, what that should do is it should get me in contact with the Icono class. Instead of seeking them out as this character, which I would probably not do. Okay, okay. Hmm. So we need drugs. We need food. We need water. And we need drugs. Don't want to get that just yet. Let's do... Yeah, we got it. We got a little bit of that. Yeah, there we go. Me all them drugs. All the drugs. And so, essentially, we're going to head straight for... Yeah, the radio tower. 
once we hit the once we hit the outside. That was that was a lovely entrance to the uh, to the overworld, by the way. It's beautiful. Well, I mean, we do have to go to the uh, Amber Heights to get Tommy Boy. The little, the little dude, bro. I will say this. We're probably going to make our next character a uh, freedom fighter kind of individual who hates the board. Yeah, my last character neither hated nor liked them. And so did what was what they thought was best for the whole of the of the society rather than just taking a side to this to these to this conflicting nonsense. That kind of does look like devil horns, doesn't it? I didn't really notice that. All right. So, shall we just run through the wilderness? I say we run through the wilderness. Huh? Onward, friends! Did I hear somebody say I smell blood? Pretty sure I did. Oh, look. It's a bunch of dude bros. I almost forgot that I have sneak. You hiding? You scared? Yes. Ah, damn it. I have nothing to hide behind. Come here, dude. What are you doing? And... Did that get him? One more? There we go. I think that actually killed him. Nope. There it is. There it is. Headshot! Oh yeah, give me that. Give me that good stuff. You're my way, bro. Is there a dude literally just chilling behind the rock? Oh, look, it's a lookout. Come here. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oof. It's rough, man. It's rough. Super rough. This is why I loot them while I'm killing them. It's more fun that way. Oh, we got even more dude bros over here. Oh, yeah. We're totally doing this. Everything that's in my way shall die. Everything. Hi, bud. Come on, who wants some? Come on. Oh god, I got a concussion. Because of course I do. Because of course I do. Are you dead yet? No. That's what I got for standing next to a bomb, I guess. There it is. There it is. Who's next? You? Yeah, he's next. Oh, you see how slow I'm swinging it? Ugh. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Did not kill him? They did not. Sweet. Well, that's it. The unfortunate side effect is, is that we got a damn concussion. Because I was standing next to a barrel that the robot decided to explode. Isn't that wonderful, y'all? That's absolutely wonderful. What does a concussion do? I believe it lowers all stats by one. Yeah, all stats. So, my perception's below, my charm, and I've only got 11 regen a second. Boo. Well, my damage is still pretty high, though. There's always that, right? Hmm. You know, we could just go ahead and take out this whole, this whole thing right here. Hi, bud. Let me just hit that bad boy right there. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Okay. They all have guns. Is that the ringleader? No. Oh, God. 
Oh no! No! Okay, bad mistake. The, the, the concussion was definitely worse than I thought it was. Definitely worse than I thought it was. It's no bueno. Okay, where are we? Okay, we're just exiting Stellar Bay. Good. Good! Good. So it's just a literal hop, skip, and a jump. Feel kind of bad. That's, I mean, melee builds, man. Melee builds. I've actually gotten quite lucky on this playthrough. I've been playing it quite close to the chest. Super, super sweaty. And of course, the first thing I do this morning is just, you know, run into a group of mercs. Don't even, don't even try to sneak in. No. Nope. <laughs> now, I believe I left a group of mercs on the road. Somebody mentioned blood or something while I was over here. No. Nothing. I mean, we got spitters. The running super fast and time dilation is absolutely hilarious. Hi, bud. The fact that you can't see their HP sometimes kills me, though. I think that's it. It just dissolves them. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Attack! I say attack! Oh, we got another one right here. Was I supposed to not go this? Yeah, I was supposed to not go this way. Like, look at them, dude. They're like level 16. Hi. Ooh. Well, but he hasn't alerted anyone. See what I mean? No alert went down. Nah, you see a dead body. That's what. That's what's going on. Come on, buddy. Come on. You walk right over here. there another one yeah he's right there didn't hear a thing didn't hear a thing that one it's kind of depressing <laughs> they're just like yeah my buddy's just dead I, I, I don't even know don't even know are there no monsters up here oh there oh there totally are oh god Okay. Bad idea. I think they're both dead. I would hope so at this point. Am I still getting hit by something? I am. You know, it is funny. The, uh, the, the cripple debuff does not last forever. It's the only debuff that you can get, like your broken leg. It's the only one that you can get that doesn't last forever. Every single other one, including the concussion, lasts forever. Hi, Mr. Lookout. Is that all of them? Yeah. Uh, I'm standing right next to a barrel. Let's not do that. Come on. Okay, you're going to jump off to the side. We can do this. Hi. You think you're good, huh? Just small groups of enemies are ridiculously easy to take out. As you can as you can see, it's kind of ridiculous. What's really going to be fun is taking out the giant swarms of enemies later. Because there are many, many, many fights in this game that have like a dozen participants. I think this is one of them. There's quite a few of these dudes laying around. They're all asleep! There's only three? I definitely thought there... Oh, God. I definitely thought there were way more. MSI soldier, wow. What the hell were you guys doing out here? Uh-huh, 
with with tamed canids, no less. No less than. Got a sublight contractor. Huh. I like how they're all called thugs. It's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. So you're definitely not a legitimate organization. Not in the least bit. Okay, we're supposed to be going this way. <laughs> does that say her name? Nioka? Yeah, it does. Okay, now we're about back where we were. Hmm. Oh, and there they are. Okay, do I have any high grass? Yeah, right here. That's about it. There's some over there. Hmm. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. Here we go. Right up to the mechanical. Hi! Come on. One more. Anybody else? That's what I thought. Attack! I say attack! Get you some, bud. Like I said, this is why I try to loot while I'm playing. While I'm in time dilation mode. Didn't work out so well that time, but I mean... You know, does it ever really work out that way? Does it really ever? The answer is no. Absolutely, pitifully, no. Hi! He's dead. And he's dead. Where's the other one? Seems you lose less when you uh, when you use the dodge mechanic. All right. I'm gonna run away. Does he know where I am? Can he see me? Yeah, of course he can. Let's get the corrosion axe out. Cross the leg, boys. 351. That's what I'm talking about. Eat your heart out, baby. <laughs> I love the way it, it bends. It's great. All right, what are we looking at here? Uh, should we repair? It's at 82%. I right, will go ahead and, go ahead and give, it a, give it a quick repair. I need to do as much damage as possible. Always. Always. Hmm. Give me all them All them biddies are mine. Do you not know this? Is it not known that all the biddies are mine? <laughs> 20. 20 lockpick on that. It's like Jesus, man. Okay. So we've got this whole camp of bandits. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and I need I need drugs and food. There we go. Food and drugs? Sure. Canage. Hmm. Not too interested in any of that nonsense. I, what I am interested in is this. And it seems to be the only grass. Dude, look at all the dude bros. Like, seriously. I need to take out the scrap mechanical. I think I'm going to go for that. Okay. Let's go. Crit. Did it awaken everyone? 
No. Okay, I did that time. That's mine. All right, the mechanical's up. So we're going to stand up. Dodge. He's got a flamethrower. And he's dead. That gives us back 25%. And he's going to die, I hope. Now we're getting hit. Where are we getting hit from? That guy. Oh, God. Who is that? Marauder Lookout. Why did you attack your own bro, bro? We got the power attack. Come on now. There it is. Look at him fly. Damn, baby. Did it? Man, that was my loot. That's my loot. Why did you take my loot away? Anyway. <laughs> as ridiculous as that was. It's actually kind of funny when that happens. It happens actually quite often. Not the fact that the, the loot like flies away. It's more the fact that the body sometimes ricochet off the ground and you power attack them from uh, from uh, quick time mode. It's definitely like the physics are weird. Who are you? Oh, they were coming real close to eating me. I'm Lenora. You, Hi. Uh, what are you doing out here? Not that I'm complaining, but I figure only marauders and animals roam around. I just explored. Oh, uh, well, okay. I can appreciate an adventurous spirit. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for the help. I've got to pick up some things from the bay, but I run a little stand near Fallbrook. Ooh. Next time you need supplies, stop by, you hear? Oh. She's a pirate affiliate. I see. I see. Lucrative opportunities in the pirate realm, eh? And of course, there's more loot over here that I did not get. But of course. Wait. No, that's all gotten, I think. Or is that red? I can't tell if that's red or not. Is that red? It is not. But I did not grab it. Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> I'm like trying real hard here. Uh huh. Yeah, this is the approach. Now watch out for that canid. Oh god, that's the ringleader. Okay. You're done, bro. Whoops. Are you dead? No, there we go. She's got an assault rifle ultra. I was wondering, you know, I was wondering when those were gonna make an appearance. So all we got left is the canid, right? Or is there a dude bro over here? No, there's a dude bro over here. Ooh! Oh, that was close. Oh, God. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we good? Alright. Freaking snipper. If he was any damn good, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be alive. I think it's more that they don't do any damage. I think it has more to do with that than anything else. Alright, now, where's all my loot? Right, I think we looted you. There's a dead body. The ringleader just flopped over like a, like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Oh my god, I'm already almost full. There we go, there's 15 pounds lighter. Um, I don't think we can go through this door. I don't think so. 
I believe hacking is required. Chastity's hideaway key. Hmm. But we don't need it to get up to the mountain, do we? We can just we can go around this way, right? No, I don't think I think you have to Okay, so that means we definitely gotta go around because we don't have this key. We don't have this right here. I thought it connected. Like you see how it kinda it kinda goes that way? Doesn't appear that that's the case. What is that? A mega canid? I mean don't get me wrong, we're definitely gonna take this out, but uh Damn, they are some big bros. How much HP does the Mega Cannon have? 3,200. As we stalk our prey. Here we go, boys. Hi. Oh, with the kill. With the kill. Who wants some? Come on, boys. Who wants it? Damn. Look how fast we attack it. <laughs> in, uh, in quick time mode. Wait, you just go stand there? Don't tell me I'm... St am I maimed? Permanently? I am, aren't I? Oh, no, the cripple they... Ah. So, apparently, occasionally it does last forever. Boo. Boo. We're so close. Ugh. This is the the thing where you can only get bed rest on your ship. Like, I don't mind having to rest to cure a cripple. But the fact that I have to go all the way back to my ship, that's what gets me. Right? That's what gets you, man. Marauder thug. Um, okay, I think we're... Oh, no, there's one more. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it. I think last time we uh, opened the door from the other side. I think that's what happened. The last time I came through here. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get the hell out of here. There's no way I'm. No, I'm encumbered. Ah. Ah. Anyway. Um. It's the freaking hammers, man. Um. Break down one. Yeah, that works. All right. Fast travel. We're so close to, man. Um, but we're going to have to... I guess we're just going to have to follow the road. Yeah, we're going to have to. I think um, right here we can, we can get up get up in through there. I think. I'm not sure. We're going to find out, though. We're definitely going to find out. Mm, but I don't need no damn help from nobody. From nobody! Neoko can suck it. Just like every other NPC. The only one I got on here is Sam, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to activate him. Ah, what the hell, who the hell am I? Well, if I activate him, I'll have to select. Let's see what happens. Can I do this? Install Acid Steeper. Boom! I didn't. Greetings, customer. This Sam unit is unable to... Would you like to register? Your Sam. We gained 1,200 bits you know for that. Great about our Sam units? They never need to be told twice. Yay! All right, get out of here. I'm still crippled, by the way. I actually run pretty quick for a cripple, bro. Like, oh, oh. Looks like on the ship it doesn't really last like that long. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Fine. I'll drink the damn water. Alright. And Bam. Sam's the only one. He's the only one. He's he's my bro though. We need it we need it we need a robot cleaning unit. Are you serious? This the ship is nasty. What do you think I'm gonna do it? You think I'm gonna do it? No. No, that's what we invented robots for. That's what we invented robots for. Give me them drugs, baby. Yeah. Oh, wait. We leveled up. <gasps> Almost forgot. Um, do we do it? Power and sweep attack chance to knock down is at 25%. Boom. 
That's it. It's a hundred. Oh my god. Um, do we go more dodge? I'm just, I'm not really feeling the dodge anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I could put all of that into lockpick and then race, like, science to get tinkering cheaper. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. That's what I'm thinking. Now, here, I'm, we might go detection radius. I think that's, that's, to killing an enemy, we get a guaranteed crit. That might be pretty good. Might be pretty good, indeed. Um, hmm. I think we'll go. I think we'll go detection radius. I think we'll go detection radius. The automatic crits. It's kind of like meh. We do so much damage at this point that it's just kind of like maybe if the enemies didn't detect us, that might be good. Do your part to support the local economy. Laws know we need it. Right. What can I get you? Uh, let's trade. You don't. Let's trade. You got anything I want? It doesn't appear so. Whoa. Whoa. It's an ultra. It's level 21. What level is mine? 24. Do Holy shit. What can I... All sales are... Uh, I mean, there are things that they could do to make the, uh... Like, quality of life. Like, being able to look at your inventory while you're on the screen. Being able to see what your weight is on the screen would be pretty good. Simple things like that would make this thing... Would make this so much better. Something else I would like to see is um, more higher level mobs. Like, I don't like scaling necessarily, but one of the things that you realize, look at that riot control gold. That's my next level right there. We're just going to get rid of all this nonsense. I don't need this. I bought that thing too. Ranged weapon spread. Ooh, that looks pretty awesome. Nope. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I got tech skills on it. It does. Okay, we already got a lockpick, dude. Engineering. I haven't needed it yet. I didn't even need it last time, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. it. sells for 42 Okay. So, now, the question is, is that do we have the ability to get everything we want with that? Sell all the gun mods. We don't need those. And I believe, I believe, I believe, 20K, baby. Woo! And we are at 55 weight. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, well, I mean, we got this right here, right? So we can we can modify. Let's see. What are we wearing? This is 13 armor. And this is level 20 armor. So it's riot control armor, riot control armor, gold. Okay. So we could put... It has no armor mod. So we could put physical armor rating or corrosion, which might be interesting. None. We don't have that. Tech skills, dialogue skills, melee weapon skills. Hmm. I don't. I mean, dialogue skills aren't too bad because that'll help me with intimidate. But leadership skills is kind of a waste, right? Tech skills, meh, meh. Hmm. Honestly, I think the thug kit is probably the best one because it gives me that uh, that dodge chance. Not dodge chance, but it increases my dodge and my damage. So we're going to go ahead and do that, yeah. And then carrying capacity. We really don't need carry capacity. We, 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 got, we can carry enough. We can carry enough. And physical armor rating. Bling. And we need, we're missing a gadget. If I had the one that increased dodge, gave me 30% dodge, I'd probably be wearing it. Um, skeletal muscular adreno stimulator. I don't, I don't know where we get that. But we finally get out of our pink armor. So yay. Yay. It's the same looking armor, just different color. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And then we can uh, then we can tinker it. Level it up a bit. Get some more armor out of it. 29. There we go. There we go. Ah, we just dumped, you know, quite a bit of money into that. So we tinker... How much is that? 700? Yeah, we'll do that one too. Ooh, 13k to level up my... <laughs> My inferno scythe. Let's let's not do that, shall we? Let's not. And the hammer just doesn't even doesn't even register anymore. Do we have Do you have any Mark II hammers? Do your part. Look. What do we got here? See, she's got a pick. She's got an ultra cleaver. Mark II stick. No. No, she ain't got nothing. Nothing I say. 
All right, let's get the hell out of here. Before I need something else, like sleep or some such nonsense. All right, so basically we need to hit the road, and we're not going to be able to get to it without get to that without doing something else. So I think we'll definitely... Well, I, like I said, there's not really a reason to stop by the Iconoclast. I can't remember if we actually went in and talked to the leader. I know... What did we? Did we get any... I think... Did we get any quests from them? Is that a thing I did? It's to be a journal. So... Velma at the fishery. She wants to know what happened to him. Okay, we haven't done that. So... Amber Heights. We need to look for Tucker. So we haven't been there. Because I could just walk right, right up to him. We never claim the bounty for Captain McReed. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. That's going to be great. Okay. So we, we went down there and killed him and never collected the bounty. Well, isn't that great? I don't know. I just forgot because you got to talk to the Mardettes. And they're just kind of forgettable in a way. You, you kind of forget they're there. They're supposed to be security, but they're kind of not I will say there is there is a there is a so much to do in a game like this that somebody like me who's like OCD in the extreme as far as this type of stuff goes it definitely is just like uh, you get pulled in a million different directions and it's hard to stay focused on the one thing because you see something and it's like oh I want to go do that that's why Skyrim was such an interesting game for me because I literally never like, I think I played 100 plus hours of that game before I ever touched the main story, really. It stuns them. Look, sit down. Sit down. Come here. You ain't going nowhere, mongrel. Sit. Sit, boy. Heal. Heal! Get our iconoclast. But I definitely think we're going to end up probably killing most everyone <laughs> in Amber Heights. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because uh, we need to shut down their broadcasting for their propaganda. And uh, I'm probably not going to be talking too much sense into them, if you know what I mean. Just give me all the loot. Hmm. Hmm. What do we got here? Anti-right gear, long guns, two-handed melee. That's pretty cool. It's more Hephaestus armor. I mean, it's not bad. It's medium, right? Yeah. We got light armor there. Quite like it. I quite like it. And uh, we got the thing that gives me, where it gives me double the bonus, don't we? Do 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 skills, and that's 105. Um. Thug kit. It's ten. What what is the actual armor itself gives? Stealth skills five. So stealth skills yeah, ten. So we do have the one that gives the double bonus. Lock pick, right control armor. Yeah, look at that. I have eighty sneak us effectively. As far as like my damage and checks are concerned. Which is pretty freaking awesome in my opinion. Pretty freaking awesome. Alright, we're gonna take this shortcut. Because we went down the road last time, so might as well take the shortcut. More dude bros. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, hey. Could have pickpocketed him. That'd been hilarious. Look at this. Before he even gets up and readies his weapon. like ninja wizard <laughs> it's pretty crazy how the uh how the perks allow you to essentially teleport around because like tactical time dilation when it starts i'm at like you know 95 percent speed for five seconds and then it slows me down then it slows me down that's but that's only if i'm maxed so i mean it's not like so uber it's not even funny and we yes we just discovered amber heights okay so We'll uh, wander off in here and see what's up. Don't know how much I'm going to be helping them, though. 
don't know how much I'm going to be helping them. They're weird, freaky religion. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclast. Howdy! I'm Rose. Howdy, I'm Rose. Okay. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophous truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Who are the Iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. Freedom! No, no shackles, no, no problems. No shackles. No problems? What about the Raptodons and Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. Ah. We deal with them as they come. Reframe it. You're welcome to stay with us. Gotcha. As long as you can earn your feet. It's good persuasion right there. Uh, big happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. Oh. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. Yeah, no, no. Tell me about Zora. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like... Our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. I wonder what would happen if I went, walked up in there and be like, yeah, I'll work for the board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they would just attack me. That's... I, I want to know what... I want to know how that's going to go down. Hmm. Why are you here and not in Stellar Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor. Something about rising from the ashes. Yeah, I'm looking for a dude named Tucker. Have you seen, have you seen this guy? The new boy. Yes, he's quite <laughs> clever. Boy. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be staying here. You guys are creepy. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's going to taste like salt. Creepy. Freedom. <sighs> Who needs it? Silly. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Captain Tanga. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. Love it. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I will say this. The NPCs don't call you Captain enough. I just want to point that out. All right. In my opinion. Uh, Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. I mean, we, we are on Whammons. My mama so. wishes. <laughs> I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Vantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. I mean, it's true. They will. Mars can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. All things that are true. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. I tell you, I won't stand for it. <laughs> and what are you going to do about it? She's just going to keep sending people this way. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road. <sighs> All mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. You're okay with thinking you're you're okay with her thinking you've died? Don't you think that'll you know hurt her? I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on in the long run, you know. Hmm. No, we're not gonna do that to Agnes. We're 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 a women's is too. I'm plain out of ideas then, Captain. I won't go back, and I can't think of a better way to get my mama to stop searching for me. 
Hmm. Well, I'm getting that reward. Either you go back, or I'll beat it out of her. What in the nebula is wrong with you? <laughs> She's an old woman. You threaten my flesh and blood just to get me to do what you want? Shrug. You are real sick. Sure, she drives me crazy, but she doesn't deserve anyone getting violent with her. Look, I'll go back, all right? Just don't hurt her. Good. Good. Get out of here. You freaking guy. I wasn't expecting it to be like, oh, you're real sick. It's like, yeah, but I'm not actually going to beat her. That's the thing. Because you're going back. You, you dumbass. All I did was threaten you. You did all the rest. Ooh, vending machines. I don't think we've actually picked up anything worth selling. Um, ooh, what do we got here? Elite trooper armor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If I could find heavy armor that didn't lower stealth skills, it doesn't matter what kind of heavy armor it was. If I could find the f fat armor that did not lower stealth, I would probably get it. I would probably get it. Uh, we got persuade, dodge. The, I'm still, still, still thinking about this dodge stuff. The stealth for now is doing pretty well for me. I'm just not sure about the dodge. It, it does, it is, it does come in handy to close that gap. And it's getting pretty ridiculous how far I can dodge. It's just there's no, uh, there's no real mechanic to. There's no real mechanic that will allow you to. Um, use it more effectively in like tactical time dilation like if there was one that increased dodge distance and time tackle time dilation or uh, made it to where your dodge barely takes anything would be pretty cool oh yeah I think we're near some stuff are you ready I'm ready. Ooh. Hello there. Are you litter? Okay, it's just three of you. I was like, what in the hell? Four. Four idiots. Huh. The only thing I can see to do is charge in with tactical time dilation. Like this. I mean, look at this. We're done. Ninja! Like, ultra ninja, man. Just straight stepped out of the bushes and power attacks this guy. Power attacks this guy. Kills him and his dog with the with the sweeping strikes. It's freaking Butamus, baby. Butamus. And they, and they knock down. And my attacks knock them down. Like, like, what, what is this? What is this? 25% chance to knock him down. It's ridiculous. Oh, hello. 250 bits. It is quite confusing to see what's in the container before you actually unlock it. So I, half the time I think I'm open and I'm looting the stuff rather than actually breaking the lock. Any more loot? Hello, loot. Come to me, loot. Come to me. What is down there? Wow, would you look at that? So you could have... So, from this point in the road, you could walk straight up here and get to here. And it takes you all the way across. It's not blocked off. Dude, sometimes... The, the the way this game was designed, the way the level was levels are designed is very, very I love it. I love it. How there's so many little paths. That when they brought up Kotor, I had I had real bad how do I want to put this? Uh, feeling about how the world was gonna be. Because in Kotor, especially with the mini map, like you could see You could see
where the map was, how big the map was, and where y'all you could go. And most of the maps weren't really big at all, even in KOTOR 2. Not kill it. There we go. Okay, there's a soldier drone. Seven hundred damage. All right, let's grab them legs. Yes. Oh wow, there's another soldier over there. Dodge that, bro. And come down on his head. Sweeping attacks. Come on, bud. Come on. Oh, man. He has no life. Look at that. Woo. Dance with a bug, dude. You oh, man. That went really well. We, uh, we did, uh, we killed him just like most other mobs. But that last bit where the the one soldier was still alive, I was not happy about that. That was... I've never faced down a Manta... Manta Sawa. And uh, with a melee weapon and lived to tell the tale. So that, that felt real good. And that was a whole group of them. That was a whole freaking group of them. Thank God it was acid. Oh, thank God. I take it there's more. That's a concussion. That's a concussion. Yeah, look, there's another one. Is that two of them? Or is it just the one? Oh, that's not even a... It's not even one. What? What am I even doing? Are you for real? <laughs> How am I not seeing these things? There's one. It's like, I don't want to go back, but look at the... The concussion is so bad. Look how slow that swings. Ugh. Ugh. Look at this. Reduces all attributes and slows weapon attack rate. Means I'm going to need some major drugs. Major drugs to be able to redo this. Okay, look at that. Alright, I think we're going to head back. <laughs> <laughs> to the ship. Oh, I know it's horrible. It's horrible. Um, we could make our way here and move the ship down here. That's entirely possible. That is entirely possible. Hmm. Hmm. I really don't want to fight with a concussion. I mean, I could take drugs to counteract all the effects, right? That's one of the things I could do. I think we're just gonna can't fast travel near hostiles. Gosh darn it. Alright, um can only fast travel to the ship. Let's go. Yeah, it sucks, but I mean it is what it is. I ran over a damn mine. I can't believe all that nonsense. To feel on me. <laughs> You're killing me, girl. Stop it. And we're gonna need some water. There we go. Probably gonna need some drugs here in a little bit. Give me all the drugs. All the drugs. I guess Sam really is worth it. In the end. It definitely feels like it. Yep, there's the drugs. Yeah. Give me that good stuff, man. How much how many more much more wrapped it on me do I have? I have twelve hits, okay. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. So, let's, uh, since we're doing some repeat, we're just kind of going to run through here. Uh, let's talk about, aha, this. Oh, Captain, you did it. My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. So grateful, Captain. And don't worry. 
I'm never leaving Mama alone. She'll be very safe from anyone who wants to hurt her. You have what no ambition, do you? Say. Silly boy, you know it's my job to protect you. Not the other way around. I'm sure he just wants you to be happy and healthy. Well, having him home safe and sound makes one. me happy. The one lie. Don't worry, my boy. I'll never let you out of my sight again. <laughs> yes, Mama. No ambition whatsoever. Dear kind stranger, this is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. Six hundred twenty-five, huh? Have my tuck tuck home safe again. All right, now that I've got the money, you can go, Tucker. What? What do you mean? My Tucker's not going anywhere. He's staying here with me. You mean it? I can go free, and you won't hurt my mama if I do. Only one of the bits. I don't. I don't really care what you do now. What is she talking about, Tucky? What's this about leaving? You're home now. You said you wanted to come back. You're safe again. No. I never wanted to come back, Mama. There we go. I only said that because she threatened to hurt you if she couldn't collect the reward you were offering. Now I'm going back to Amber Heights. I love being an iconoclast, free of this stifling town, free of you. Goodbye, Mama. Tucker, no, please don't go. Don't leave me again. And now you know. Sweet, thanks for the money. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hmm. It's what a shitty thing to do to someone. <laughs> it really is. Wait, does my weapon need repair? Uh, it's at 87%. What, 421? Ooh, yeah, let's go ahead, go ahead and throw that. Did it? Did it? Is it 420? Okay. Okay, it's a 421 period. Hmm. Hmm. Well, see, that's the thing, is that if between 73 and 421, the problem with it is, is that this one... Is that 20% more? I think it is. I think I think our axe is now finally finally more. Moa. Moa. Well, that's okay. We've been fighting a lot of mana swarms, so. Manta bros. Manta bro! It's too bad there's no Manta bro faction. How cool would that be? It'd be a ridiculously stupid thing. Do you hear that? Oh, there he is. He was like chilling off to the side or something. Look how fast this thing swings, dude. It's because I have max dex, that's why it swings so damn fast. Especially in time dilation mode. There's something weird about that, I think. Alright, we're gonna cut across right here. Cause I can. Cause I don't care. I don't care. I keep wanting to hit the map. This is the problem with have, not having a mini map. But anyway, we were, uh, before I ran into Tucker, and look, we could run straight through here as a shortcut as well. Um, what I was going to say is that I believe our next playthrough of this is going to be a heavy weapons build. And I think we're going to go freedom. You know what I mean? Straight up anti-corporate nonsense. And we're going to do companions, so we're probably going to be running around with Felix and maybe Doc uh, for most of the game. Maybe. It depends. I really need to, uh, like, stretch out some of the some of the companion stuff. Like, I, I loved Pavardi, but I didn't have her in my group hardly at all. Just because after she was doing her love triangle thing, I was just like, ah, okay. It's cute, and that was the problem. I wanted badass and adorable, and that's not what I was getting. All right, now we did kill the mantasaurs that were right here. If he's even, is there not one over there? I can't tell. Ah, there we go. Pop in. Gotta love it. And this is where we ran into all the frickin' mines in the road. Like, I, I, I do not understand why I can't see them. Am I, am I blind? Or are they just that frickin' invisible? You know what I mean? Because the thing about it is I can outrun them. But I'm not running. It's kind of hard to outrun when you're not running, huh? When you're not running? Yeah. 